Hi everybody, it's Simon at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make these really sweet gift bags, gift boxes. Just depends if you add the handle or not. I've done this one here, which I had made before I'd done a Facebook Live. Um, and I'm going to be obviously giving this one to my dad. And, um, and then I made this one during the live. And this one I'm going to be giving to my sister and my brother-in-law on the new arrival of their son. And then the one I'm going to make today is going to be like a tropical one with some pinks and stuff. But the idea to make these actually came from this box here. So this is a box of very, very tasty fudge from the co-op. And you can see there how it all kind of works. So I just took it apart. I had to tinker a little bit with some of the measurements just to make it work. But this is what you get. And you can see there exactly how it looks. You just lift the top up and then inside is that same bag of very delicious fudge. I'll just pop it back in because it was rustling there and I don't want it to be too uncomfortable to listen to and then you just pop in the sides there and you've got a really nice little gift and then I've just done this oval circle with the hot air balloons and that one there I've created a nice little scene with the lighthouse and the seagulls and then I've just got those little kind of charms hanging this one's got all the baby the bottle the pin and the rattle and this one here has the anchor and some binoculars, which I thought was really good. So they're very easy to make, so let me show you how I made them. Okay, so this is the stamp set that I've used for today's, and it's the Tropical Treetops, which is the brand new stamp set from the latest issue of Creative Stamping Magazine. And this is the one that I've made here. It's, it's turned out actually a lot better than I expected. I've used the new Black Widow pencils on this, and I've used the blending solution. And you can see that really lovely background that I've been able to create. So I'm really pleased with how this turned out. I'm really enjoying using those pencils at the moment. But I've just taken the parrot here, which is actually within the Stampendous um, stamps there, just in the top right. And then I've used these two here which are this one and then this one here and just fussy cut them and then I've just die cut the holographic card stock there on the back so that's going to be the topper and then I'm going to have these as my kind of little charm that's going to hang down at the top and I'm going to have this one with happy birthday on so we'll talk about that more when we get to it and I'll share all the links to the magazine below so here's this lovely pink color so this is a piece of 12 by 12 okay so along the one of the sides here you want to score it half an inch four inches, six and a quarter, and nine and three quarters. Okay. Then you want to rotate and you want to score at two and a quarter and nine and a quarter. Okay. Then you want to grab a ruler. I'm going to lay down this one here and you want to score at six inches, but only within these two sections here. And I know that's hard for you to see. Let me just bring this up a bit. So if I catch the light, here we go. So we're going to be scoring at six inches. We're going to miss the half inch tab and we're going to miss all this large section and you're just going to score on the two sides. So this is one side section, then this is the back and then this is another side section. So we just want to create these score lines which are actually these ones here so just if I show you here it kind of you want to miss you know the front and the back we just want to have the score lines within the side sections so again with it in this orientation so the half inch tab is at the top okay lay your ruler down at six inches miss the first half inch miss all of this section here and then just score in that section so it's the third section, if you count this as one, this area is two, this area is three, and then four, and then five. So miss one and two and just score within the three. Then miss the section four and just score within that last section. Okay, if I just bring this up here, you can see I've just got that score line here, and then I've got the other one there. Okay, then pop it back in so the half inch tab is on the left hand side and you now want to score at five and one eighth down past the first score line and then about three quarters of the way down within that kind of rectangle that's here. I'll bring it up and show you in a moment and also again at ten and seven eighths of an inch past the first section and then about three quarters of the way down into the next section. So if I bring it up now, you can see, so I've scored, there we go, all the way down past this one, but then we've got this rectangle here, and I've just scored about three quarters of the way down. 
I did go accidentally all the way down there, but I did rub it kind of away. If you ever score wrong, if you flip it over and then just, I use this end here of my score tool and just rub over it. You can kind of burnish it so it's flat again. So that's not really actually a score line there. It's just a little bit of a mark, but you're not gonna see it. But you can see there where I have scored right past this first score line and then about three quarters down within this rectangle here. Again, if I bring it to this one here, it might be a little bit easier. Again, you'll see I did put a score line in here wrong, but it's, um, again, it, it's very smooth. It's just a slight, it's more, I don't know, it's hard to explain. But anyway, you can kind of erase score lines, but you're just gonna go down past again, this one here, and about three quarters of the way down. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna score across here to create a little triangle. And that will basically, what we're trying to achieve here is this. Okay, so that's what you want to have, okay? So then we can fold and burnish all of the score lines. Let's get rid of this. We just need to add a few score lines, so those triangle ones that I mentioned. So make sure, again, the half inch tab is on the left-hand side, then you know that you've got it in the right orientation. And you're just gonna score from the bottom of those score lines, just down to the bottom left corner. You've got this line here that you've done before. You're just gonna form that triangle. So I've got my, just a little mat down, just so it's a bit easier for me to create my score lines and then with my stylus here I'm just going to score across each one. Okay so if I just bring this up you can now see, there we go, you can just there, there we go you can see my triangle. Okay and that one there, in fact when I lay it that way you can really see what we've got there. So this is the top and we're going to cut a lot of this away so you don't need to worry about any of that. And then we've got our base score lines here. Okay, so next what we want to do is we're going to remove this part, this part and this part. Again, if I hold it up, it's these three sections here. Okay, and then the bottom here you want to cut up all the score lines to the first score line. So this one, this one here, and then just remove that one completely. Okay, so you've got those all loose. And then if you turn this one around, you just want to remove this corner here. And this piece here is going to be the closure. So just snip that one away. And then what I'm going to do is just take a wedge away there and also from there. Okay, and then I'm just going to use my corner punch, and this is optional, but just because this is going to be the front, I'm just going to take corners off of there. And then what's going to happen is, is it's going to basically stick like this. We're going to fold these score lines in a minute so that that will come over to the front. So this one here, this one here is going to be the last one you stick down. So I'm going to fold that one away from me, if I move that away you can see it a bit better. And then I just want to take some wedges from all of these, so this one. Okay, so we've got one that we've just left as it is, but the others we've just taken a little wedge away. Then with these ones here, you just basically want to fold all of them just a little bit. So just kind of like, just kind of just let them kind of find that shape, that's how they're going to sit, you see like this. Okay, so this is a valley fold, in fact they're all valley folds, this one's a mountain. Okay, so I'll do it again on this one here, that one's probably easier than this one, so if you just kind of pinch it to the top of the triangle and then you can kind of just, just lift it up along each of those score lines and then that one there you just want to kind of you know, pinch it along there as best you can, like so. But you can see now how we've got our sides. And hopefully by you now seeing it like this, you can really understand where all those score lines are and how everything works, okay? So next we can add some glue to this tab here, like so. I'm then gonna flip it over, fold that one over, and then fold this one over. And you'll see there it lines up perfectly. So just spend a minute just making sure that's all secure and then we'll stick down the base. Okay, so that's now done, and now we can squeeze this in. You can see now how that then can come over and we've got the top of our box. 
Okay. Now, I should have also added, you might want to do your punches here for the handle, if you want to add the handle. People I've seen have been making it and sharing it on the group from when, when i done the live, and a lot of them didn't add the handle, so you don't have to, but you will want to do this before you stick it together. But I'm now just going to grab my ruler, and I came in one inch. You, might, you know, you can do any kind of, you know, measurement, but I'll just come in from one inch from each side, and I just put a little pencil mark just there and there. And then I've got my screw punch here, which is perfect because it allows you to just hole punch, you know, anywhere on the surface. You're not restricted. So I'm just going to pop that one over there, like so. And then this one. So you can still do it this way. There we go. So now I've got the two holes. So now when I fold that over, you'll see that perfectly on that score line for the ribbon to go through. So now you can flip it over, okay, so this one's on the back, the back one is going to go down first and then pop your glue then I'm going to pop down one side pop the other one down and then that last one and you'll get a nice once we square it all off, there we go, you get a nice finish. Flip it over, grab your ruler, make sure it's all stuck down there as well. And just come away, didn't let it grab long enough. There we go. And just with your ruler, pop it in there and you can just spread out all that glue. Okay, so now we want to decorate. So, I mean, you might want, not want to have something like this on there. You may just want to put a Velcro dot on the back and then seal it. But I do love this and I'm going to do some trim just like I did on the other ones as well at the bottom. So I'm going to fold that one over and then this is going to stick on the front there. And already you can see just how lovely that looks. And the holographic card, of course, is my favourite. So I'm just going to flip this one over, pop some glue on the top half and then sit this here. Okay, so now that's secure, I can grab a Velcro dot. This is just the 16mm, grab another one actually, it doesn't seem to be so sticky. So that's the 16mm Velcro brand. So I'm going to pop that one about there. And then make sure everything's straight. So line all of that up, bring this down. And then secure your Velcro. Just kind of prise them apart and then you can really push those down so nice and secure and then what I've got here is two strips I've got a two inch by 12 of this lovely turquoise which I thought let's see because I haven't actually seen it together but yeah I just think that's going to look really nice against the pink and it just pulls out the turquoise that I've used within the picture there and I've got this white piece to go on the top and then I'm going to wrap this twine here around. So basically I'm now I'm going to, re going to create this effect here. So there's the one there and then the baby one you can see here as well. And that's where I'll just cut that one in half and then that will just kind of sit in there just underneath the, the, the string there or the twine. And then the handles I'm just going to feed in, pop some knots in the back but you can see again that lovely turquoise is going to finish it off nicely and I will also attach the leaves there as well. So I'm going to get all that done. The best way to actually do this is just sit it here so you have an equal amount roughly overhanging and just wrap it. You get a much better finish than trying to work out the score lines. You just wrap it and then again keep it nice and taut, nice and straight. Do that one there and again this side here and then you can make sure it just meets up nicely at the back and just secure it and then again you want to do the same with the white piece there, just wrap that one through. finished box I think it looks adorable really love how this has come together and just different ways to decorate you know um, I'm always one for just trying different kind of styles and ways to make things look really pretty and I love how this one's come together I'm really 
I'm very, very fond of that parrot right now. I just think it looks so nice. So yeah, there it is. Um, just open up the top there again so you can just see everything inside. So this one is gonna go in my stash of gift boxes. So that's ready now for me to fill with something nice. And then, like I said, these two are already gonna be going off to their new home and being enjoyed. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, tutorial. As always, I'll put all the links, everything that I can find in the video description. And I'll be back again very soon for another tutorial. Thanks for watching, bye.